Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a mouse that doesn't scroll properly. I'm going to be using this Razer Death Adder as an example in this video as it jitters when scrolling. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that there's nothing in the wheel that could be blocking the sensor from picking up on your scrolling. So as we can see in this mouse, there's a little bit of hair in the way of the sensor. And so this could be inhibiting it from picking up properly on your scrolling. So next what we're going to try and do is get that hair out. Now for this, I like to generally use a little bit of compressed air, and what I'm just doing here is putting it against the wheel and then blowing into the wheel, and hopefully that should knock loose any crud or hair that's in the mouse wheel. And you want to do this a few times, maybe at different parts of the wheel, also try scrolling in a little bit, then putting some more air in. And again, your goal is just to knock loose anything that's stuck in there that could be keeping things from working properly. Okay, so it looks like it's still having a little bit of trouble scrolling, so now we're going to move on to step two. Now the next step is to actually disassemble the mouse, and I'm just going to put a quick disclaimer here. The mouse that I'm disassembling and the instructions for that are specifically to the Razer Death Adder, but you should be able to look online and find specific disassembly instructions for your mouse. And the technique I'm going to use to remove the feet, if you have screws under your feet, you should probably follow that too. Okay, so the next step is to actually disassemble the mouse. So you may be able to see here and feel it, but there's actually a screw right under here. So what you want to do is get your screwdriver and push it through. And then once it's through, you should be able to unscrew this. Now there's two other screws right up here, and to get these out, I recommend using something like a blow dryer to loosen the adhesive here so that you can reuse this little strip here which allows the mouse to kind of slide around on the desk. So if you use a blow dryer it'll allow you to um, pull this off kind of around the corners here to access those screws without totally destroying the rubber and um, the adhesive here. Okay now in the bathroom here with this hair dryer and what you're going to use is the hair dryer to put warm air right in this segment right here in order to soften the adhesive. And so when you're using the hair dryer, I just kind of recommend doing it in this kind of sweeping motion just so that you're not getting any individual part of the mouse too hot because you can kind of burn things here. And that's not your goal. Your goal is to just loosen the adhesive. So making sure that you're not putting too much heat on one spot is pretty essential here. And then when it seems like it's heated up enough, uh, you should be able to get something like a spudger or some other little thing like maybe a credit card or something under the gap to pull the feet up and um, you may need to continue to use the blow dryer to loosen it even as you're pulling it up so I recommend working in kind of shifts of heating it a little with the blow dryer and then pulling it up some to the point where you can access the screws but your key here is to just go slowly don't rush it because you don't want to damage those feet okay now with the feet out of the way you should just be able to unscrew these screws to gain access to the mouse and now to actually get the mouse apart, you're going to have to pull at it a little bit because I think there's some clips or it's pressure fitted in or something like that. And a spudger or some sort of tool can really help you in this process, but I found I could just get it apart by pulling at it with my fingernails. And after you've gotten it apart, there's just these two little uh, connections that you need to pull apart. And um, you should just probably be careful with these because they are little wires and you don't want to break any of the wires. So just handle the connectors with care and you can generally just use your hand to get it off, but using something like a screwdriver to pry at it might also help you. All right, and now we have our full assembly here. So looking from here, um, by removing this screw, this should free this board, which should allow the wheel to come out. And then we'll just go ahead and sort of clean up. Okay, so looking at this, to remove this mouse wheel, it looks like there's gonna have to be four screws right there that are going to have to be loosened which should allow this board to come out which then should free it here and allow us to take it out and clean it. And with all those out, this board should just lift free. Except, oh, it looks like there's one last I'm kind of holding it in. Aha! So, now the scroll wheel is out, so we can go ahead and clean this and hopefully some of the sensor is associated with it. I'm going to go ahead and 
get some hair off it, you know. Okay, so after doing some research, it seems like this little part right here could be the issue, why it's, your mouse may be skipping. Um, and some people actually have taken this apart to, you know, clean it and stuff, but I'm not too keen on that because all this stuff is very fragile and you could break your mouse doing this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray some air in there and see if I can just clean around the outside of it to get it working. Okay, so to fully get this mouse board out, we're gonna actually have to remove this one connector here too, which I'm just gonna do off camera because it's kind of a pain to get out, um, and I don't wanna break anything trying to do it on camera, but um, after that, you should just be able to lift the board out. Okay, now with that disconnected, the whole board assembly just kinda comes out like this, and now you just have the um, mouse board, I guess, is the term for it. And so next, um, we're just gonna go ahead and get this um, this actual scroll sensor of the mouse and we're gonna um, go ahead and take that apart and um, clean it. Okay, so what we're about to do here is kind of a last resort thing because this involves a lot of very fragile parts that are very easy to break and are not really replaceable. So only do this if all the other previous methods have failed. But um, what we're gonna do is actually take apart the sensor wheel and so to do that first there's these uh, four metal clips that hold it in and we're gonna get a screwdriver and pry all those apart. Just get the screwdriver kinda you know get it under there it's you might I might actually need a thinner screwdriver for this but um, once you have it under you can kinda just bend it out, I guess is the best term for it. Just enough so that you're able to actually pull that wheel out. After you've gone ahead and gotten those four legs out, and um, again, these are very, you need to be very careful on these, I can't stress this enough. Um, these legs, honestly, I'm not sure I'll be able to bend them back into place without them snapping off. You can kind of bend this whole assembly back, and then there's this little metal part in the back, and that kind of holds it together. You can just take some tweezers and pull that off. And now, with that metal part off the end, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take out this little wheel, which is part of what um, senses the movement of the mouse. And then what I recommend here is to just get some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip and um, clean the wheel, you know, clean the contacts and clean all that stuff. So just get the isopropyl alcohol and begin to, you know, clean around this section. All right, this section has been cleaned now, and I don't know if you can tell, but these both look a lot cleaner now than they did before. And the Q-tip is way more dirty than before. And now that that's all cleaned up, I'm gonna try assembling this. So just taking, you know, your um, wheel and dropping it back in there so it can, you know, contact and interface with the segment there and then putting the metal back on, which I don't think I can record because it's too tricky to do uh, while recording at the same time. Okay, now once the wheel and the metal plate are back on, you can bend this back into its uh, housing. And then after that, all the pins can be bent back into place. Okay, so I was unable to get any of the pins back on. As you can see, they all kind of snapped off there. Okay, just in case you guys have a similar problem with the pins breaking off, I found a little solution somewhat to this, um, which is I just got a uh, paper clip here and got some um, needle nose pliers, and then I just bent the paper clip around it so it's holding the um, thing together and um, so far it's working and as we continue with assembly this um, may work I'm hoping it does we're gonna continue with assembly as my camera begins to die so um, just drop the little um, motherboard back into the main shell or casing and then you just want to you know, reconnect this little connector 
And then before you do that, though, make sure you fit in this wheel also. Okay, now that that's confirmed to be working, I'm gonna just give it one last spritz with a little air press, a little uh, heat duster. Okay, and also while this external shells off, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this as well because frankly, it is um, quite disgusting looking. And before you reconnect this, just make sure you get these two connectors reconnected. Now start by putting the top back on and just kind of pressure fitting the bottom on like this. Next, we're going to go ahead and get those screws and tighten those down. And once you've gotten that one down, you can just kind of push this back over the screw. Now for this one, and smooth that corner on. Finally, we can tighten the base screw for the mouse. And look at that, the mouse is fully working again. It scrolls smoothly without any jitter and it holds up well even when I banged it around in my desk. So I hope this fixed your mouse problems, or at least alleviated them somewhat, and if you still couldn't get your mouse working, it's probably time to buy a new mouse. But anyway, if you liked the video, uh, like and subscribe if you feel like it, and have a nice day!